As Prime Integrator, Juniper served as a VNF neutral advisor to help Deutsche Telekom with its NIMS architecture. It also managed the integration of multi-vendor software with new and legacy OSS BSS systems and delivered the NFVI underlay and overlay. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content at Telecom TV, and to explain more, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Matthias Kokot, who is VP Product Management at Juniper Networks. Hello Matthias, good to meet you. Thanks for joining us on the programme. Can I ask you first of all to share with us details of Juniper's role in the NIMS project? Yeah, happy, you know, happy to share it. Um, Juniper has performed, you know, three roles in the Deutsche Telekom NIMS project. The, um, the first one is we are the prime integrator, um, basically, you know, providing, um, you know, the trusted partnership and the overall, you know, project integration, you know, through our, you know, professional services organization as a VNF, you know, independent, you know, partner for, you know, Deutsche Telekom. We are also the systems integrator. Um, so we integrate um, Deutsche Telekom's, you know, OSS, um, you know, systems um, with the, you know, the applications and um, the orchestration and building um, the overall framework for the automation and OSS, you know, platform in Deutsche Telekom called, um, you know, AOP. And we are also the NFVI vendor in, in Deutsche Telekom. We provide Deutsche Telekom with um, the physical underlay as well as the, the overlay system for their NFVI infrastructure. Now, I spoke earlier with Christoph Hiltz of Deutsche Telekom. He talked about hungry suppliers, the ones who believed in the vision of being game changers. What motivated Juniper? How are you the hungry supplier? Um, so Deutsche Telekom really needed a trusted um, partner for, you know, what I would call the transition and uh, transformation, you know, from, you know, where they are today um, in, in, in terms of their voice services to where, you know, they wanted to go. And uh, Juniper was, um, you know, a trusted, um, you know, partner. We've done, um, you know, uh, multiple integrations in, in Deutsche Telekom, you know, already. We might not be, you know, let's say the traditional, um, you know, prime integrator partner, uh, but we were up to, you know, the challenge and we could really draw from our experience um, with, in terms of the longstanding relationships that we've had uh, with, let's say, the, the major hyperscalers, um, you know, today. So that has helped us, you know, basically with the integration of um, the, you know, the NIMS project in, in Deutsche Telekom. We also share, um, I would say, the same vision of uh, horizontally, you know, aligned, um, you know, telco cloud, um, as opposed to, you know, what we see, you know, often in. That we, you know, bring to the table. The belief um, in, in automation, that automation is actually key in, in the transformation, all of that, you know, brought us together. And I believe, um, you know, we are a good partner of um, Deutsche Telekom. And what would you say was the biggest challenge that you faced? So, so when you look at the, when you look at Telco Cloud, um, you know, project, it's really, it's a, you know, it's a transformation. Um, it's a transformational, you know, project where you have to, you know, bring in, um, um, you know, not only the technology, but you have to look at the process, you have to look at, um, you know, the skills, you have to, you know, look at, um, you know, the resources. Um, and as a prime integrator, you are basically responsible, um, you know, to look at, you know, that triangle, you know, all together and basically make sure that you look at all the, you know, the, the you know, the facets. I would say the biggest, you know, the biggest challenge, um, you know, for us was really to, um, you know, um, bring together the ecosystem, um, you know, partners, you know, day one basically built, built a framework um, um, that allows basically everybody, you know, to, you know, to execute and then also build, you know, the trust um, across all the ecosystems partners uh, with the aligned goal of making them happen. Now, you obviously know the industry very well. Do you see other operators doing similar work or is Deutsche Telekom in a unique position with NIMS? You know, and if so, what makes NIMS so special? So we, 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 see, we see, you know, you know, other customers, um, you know, of ours basically doing or taking the same, um, you know, approach. 
Um, what I would say makes, um, you know, Deutsche Telekom, the, you know, the NIMS projects, um, you know, special, you know, in a sense that right from the outset, um, you know, Deutsche Telekom basically um, provided the vision of um, where they wanted to go. And they looked, um, they looked at it, um, you know, from all the, you know, the three angles that I mentioned, you know, earlier, the, you know, the technology side, um, you know, the, um, um, the skill set and, um, you know, the, the, the process side. And um, they took all, you know, took all of them, you know, at the same time, basically organizationally aligned, um, um, you know, the, you know, the group um, responsible for implementing, you know, the NIMS project. And I think that makes actually the Deutsche Telekom, um, you know, project, the NIMS project unique. Do you believe that the NIMS approach is also applicable to other network operators? And, you know, if so, why aren't others doing this yet? Um, I definitely believe it's fully applicable to, you know, other, you know, service providers, um, you know, as well. Um, you know, first of all, we believe that the horizontal, um, you know, approach is the approach, um, you know, to take in order to be, you know, successful, you know, combined with, let's say, agile methodologies of, you know, implementing it. And then again, the full automation um, um, end to end, you know, starting with, um, <clears throat> you know, the, you know, the underlay, you know, the overlay, you know, all the way to the orchestration and, um, you know, the, the applications. Having, you know, having that automation, you know, basically in place, um, you know, right from, you know, day one, um, you know, automating, you know, day zero, day one, you know, to day two, you know, operational, you know, tasks is the key to success. I think in terms of the challenges, um, um, you know, that other, um, you know, service providers, you know, have faced is also to combine the technology, you know, itself um, with, let's say, process changes and, um, you know, the automation side. I think the three things um, um, are the key to, you know, the success for a Telco Cloud project. And what did you think when Deutsche Telekom asked to have a fully automated platform from day one? Um, I mean, we, we, you know, Juniper's always up for, you know, a challenge, right? And, you know, this was definitely, um, you know, a challenge, you know, overall, um, you know, for us, but, you know, one, you know, that, that we really love to, you know, take on because we actually believe, um, we share, um, you know, and, and believe in the horizontal, you know, Telco Cloud, um, you know, platform. And so automating, you know, automating, you know, basically, um, um, let's say the, you know, the underlay, you know, the overlay, and then integrating um, the, you know, the applications as well as the orchestration itself, itself was definitely, you know, a challenge, but, you know, something that I, you know, I believe actually we, we've mastered actually, you know, quite well. And again, um, the, the automation here really is, you know, the key, you know, to success, um, spending basically the time, you know, upfront um, to, you know, automating, you know, everything again, you know, day zero, day one, as well as, you know, day two, um, you know, operations will pay off, um, you know, later on. And we have seen this um, in terms of, you know, the, the systems and the services that we brought, um, you know, already, um, you know, into, you know, production in Deutsche Telekom. And we see it, you know, purely, you know, from a time to market perspective, what it takes us, um, you know, to bring basically, you know, updates, um, you know, into um, the network and into, you know, the production network. Again, automation, um, you know, is key to the success here. And are you happy with the progress you've achieved so far on the project? Uh, I, I think I, I think it's probably a better question for um, you know Christoph. But I believe um, 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 we are we are actually you know quite satisfied um, you know with it. Um, we've 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 gone a long way you know overall you know in, in the project. Uh, we've brought you know services already um, you know to production, and we are you know on a on a good path um, to you know bringing the next set of um, um, you know services you know into you know production. And so you know everything that we've done um, you know from you know day one again integrating um, you know the, um, um, the the automation um, you know part um, you know aligning with um, you know Deutsche Telekom's you know goals investing in the, you know, the automation and the OSS, you know, platform, the AOP platform, as it's called in, um, in the Deutsche Telekom DIMS project. I think all of that, you know, all of that has really, you know, paid off. 
what we've also done, you know, uh, I think that's, uh, you know, overall, it's a, it, it's a very good approach. Um, we, we actually created um, um, a parallel, you know, track. Um, there's, um, you know, one track is basically, you know, linked to, um, you know, everything that we have to implement for the project itself. And, you know, let's say the relatively near term, um, you know, goals that we have to achieve. You know, the second track actually, you know, that we, you know, created is called, you know, the co-creation, um, you know, track. And it's something where we bring actually the, you know, the ecosystem partners, um, you know, together. And we look basically beyond the immediate, um, you know, goals for the project, you know, things that we as ecosystem partners basically have to solve um, in, um, let's say, in the, in the Deutsche Telekom LIMS project, um, you know, for the phases to come. But I would say also, um, you know, as a, as you know, in in the industry, as an ecosystem, you know, in in the overall, you know, telco cloud, um, um, you know, segment. Focusing on your role as a prime integrator for the project, how did you align all the various partners, and do you think the selected approach was successful? Um, I I believe, you know, I believe um, um, it's been, you know, successful. I mean, the the most important one for us was. Um, you know, we had to start with, let's say, um, uh, you know, defining the common goals that obviously are aligned with, um, you know, where Deutsche Telekom, you know, wanted to take, um, you know, the project. Also, you know, to to integrate basically a common, um, you know, framework for all the ecosystem partners um, in, in, in order to basically create a win-win situation, you know, for, for everybody. And then the third one, you know, that's, um, you know, important as well is basically, you know, instilling trust in, in, in everybody, right? So that's, you know, that's, you know, it's the right approach. You know, every, you know, everybody basically is heard. Everybody is aligned on the common goals and we have an overall framework, um, you know, that we work in, um, you know, each of the, let's say each of the, you know, the, the, the sub projects, but all is basically aligned to a common goal, you know, overall. And Matthias, what's your advice to the industry and those telcos looking to make the same kind of transformation that Deutsche Telekom has? I would say definitely go for it. Um, you know, we, we've, seen, we've seen the Deutsche Telekom project, the NIMS project being very successful. Um, you know, the things that I've mentioned earlier, you know, every telco cloud project is a, is a transitional project. It's a transformation. Embrace it, um, um, you know, look at the processes that need to change, look at, you know, to some extent, you know, organizational, you know, changes, you know, there. look at the skills and resources and, you know, combine this with technology on the technology side. Most important one, automation, 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 you know, day one. But I would say overall, um, you know, my advice is, you know, go for it, um, you know, look at the Deutsche Telekom, you know, NIMS project. I think it's a good blueprint. Um, you know, to be successful with Telco Cloud projects. Great, Matthias, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Now, for the complete picture on the NIMS project, please take a look at the other videos in this series. There will be seven interviews in total, plus two panel discussions that delve deeper into the Telco Cloud. And watch out for news of our live Q&A programme coming soon. For now, though, thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.